Do you remember this recently from BBC presenter Martine Croxall? Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Hello and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Am I allowed to be this gleeful? Well, I am. And joining us is parliamentary journalist Tony Grew and chief political correspondent at The Telegraph, Camilla Turner. I, I think it's extremely unlikely that this government is going to limp on in this fashion to 2024. I think an earlier, an earlier general election, I think, is much more likely than that. But of course, Boris Johnson thinks, you know, Boris Johnson thinks that's he should be world king. Of course, he thinks he's best place to win an election in 2024. He probably thinks he's best place to win the American election in 2024. <laughs> you know. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. I keep on making you laugh. I'm sorry. No, you do. I mean, it's, I shouldn't probably. I'm probably breaking some sort of terrible due impartiality uh, rule by giggling. Well, look, it's played out now and we see after a huge backlash, the BBC admitting, reporting themselves there, that the BBC presenter, the BBC News presenter, breached impartiality rules. The, the BBC saying that comments by the news presenter Martin Croxall breached its rules on impartiality. Soon after, Boris Johnson announced he wouldn't stand to be Conservative leader. Again, the BBC quoted as saying her remarks and reaction caused a significant risk. The audience could believe opinions were being expressed on the Conservative leadership. Ray, surely not, eh? I do like the next line of the report, by the way. Croxall is back presenting on Friday. Wow. Obviously taking it very seriously indeed, then. I mean, come on. This is all absolutely farcical, isn't it? Why are people, why are people forced to pay a BBC licence fee now when the public are actually asked about how the BBC should be funded, advertising and, and or subscriptions backed uh, by a majority of the country? But don't expect much to change. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. I'll keep bringing you the Ray later, so please do wrap this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.